What's up, Beagles? My name is Glitchmaster, and today we're going to be looking at this amazing announcement trailer for Halo Infinite. Now, the last time a game was announced with the Infinite tagline, it definitely split the game's fanbase into two groups, the loyalists to the superiority of the original Rapture, and the rebels who like that new Columbia game. Yeah, that sounds awfully familiar, doesn't it? At any rate, I just made a video about my Halo 6 E3 predictions, and you can check that out in the end card of this video. While it is not explicitly labeled as the sixth installment, 343's Halo Waypoint post about Halo Infinite seems to set the record straight of this being the next main installment of the Halo franchise. Now, without any further ado, let's get right into this and take a look at this amazing intro. Right off the bat, they let us know that this is a brand new engine, and this is huge in and of itself, as Halo games have, more or less, run on systems coming from the exact same engine that started it all with Halo Combat Evolved. It kind of feels like a piece of my childhood is dying, actually. But based upon what they are showcasing right here with the details, lighting, shadows, and other features, I can definitely see why it took 343 so long to reveal something like this to us. I also want to note the animals we see here. I'm not sure if we will indeed see animals like deer and rhinos on the Halo ring, but hey, why not? However, I think that this also shows that we could very well finally have some major ambient life returning. Aside from Reach with the Moa and the Gueta, they haven't really been major parts of the game series. I made another video about this that you can check out as well. I think the stampede right here is awesome too, as it shows off the system being able to handle a bunch of characters in action at once, while also maintaining proper detail and graphics. This kind of makes me think that we'll be seeing some more epic battles come Halo Infinite. Again, we have to reiterate that everything just looks so freaking beautiful, and it sounds just as beautiful. The music and nature ambiance, and you can even faintly hear the Guardians. I also think that these glyphs right here should be brought up. Could these mean nothing? Absolutely. But with how old school this game is seemingly showing itself off as, these could potentially be deciphered into some sort of forerunner code, or maybe even a precursor or something else to that nature, that might just reveal more details of this Halo Infinite world. Go to Twitter and Reddit right now. A lot of people are active right at work and trying to figure this out. We see some more elements like the inside of a dropship and a small human encampment. We also see this group of soldiers walking along and dropping orange signal smoke. I don't think smoke grenades will be a part of the game honestly like others are predicting, but I think it's just showing off the systems that can be utilized for effects such as smoke. Remember, bottom line, this is an engine demo. Although I gotta say here, I really like how World War II-esque these soldiers look. Almost like they're trying to throw us off as to what game this really is, right before the grand reveal. We begin to zoom out of the landscape, and then... This isn't just the Master Chief, nuh-uh. This is the exact same man that I played with from all those years ago back in 2001 when Halo 1 and the original Xbox was released, right up through Halo 2 and Halo 3. This was the Master Chief I know and love. This Master Chief not only brings his helmet, which I hope he will put on over his other helmet, but he also brings with him the classic art style and music direction a la the original trilogy. I don't care who you are, this moment gave me goosebumps and is so beautiful. We see we've been on the ring world for the entirety of this demonstration, right when the text clues us in that this is the new Halo game and it will be big. And then we finish this up with Master Chief popping something into his chip slot. Could this be Cortana? No longer doing her thing from Halo 5? Alright, so this trailer was absolutely badass, and it was a great way to show off the brand new engine. Plus, a lot of little hints were dropped as to just what we might see in Halo Infinite. Listen, I know a lot of people were super freaking excited about this, myself included, but we also need to remember that we were all super thrilled with the hype of Halo 5, but then look what happened. However, with Chris Lee leading the charge rather than some Call of Duty guy though, and with Sparth's new art direction of bringing in the important elements of the classic art style that is so recognizably Halo, I think the right people are in charge and directing this game over at 343. Time will tell though. This trailer was absolutely beautiful and now we have a slightly better understanding of what this new game will be. I really also want to discuss what I want. 
I want this to have the big open environments that Halo 1 gave us, mixed in with the grand moments of Halo 2 and the refined balance of Halo 3. Based upon the imagery provided in conjunction with the art and audio direction, this game will probably tie in more so with Halo Wars 2 than it will Halo 5. Heck, for all we know though, it might retcon Halo 5. Regardless though, I am super hyped up about this trailer and I just can't wait to hear about any and all information and news regarding this game. And I'm sure we'll receive all of that news and information within the coming months and even years. And right now in the comments, please let me know what you thought of this trailer and what you want from Halo Infinite. Also, while you are at it, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe, and pet a dog. My name is Glitchmaster, and I just want to say everyone, thanks a lot for watching. Peace.